to mix it in with other gas and dust out there. So what I'm going to ask you, based on knowing what I just told you, uh, what would you, what would have, what would the chain of events have to be to create a uh, a solar system like ours that has these 92 elements? It, could it have formed directly from the Big Bang after the hydrogen and helium collapsed and formed stars and eventually galaxies? Did we get our system out of that? No, because that would only include what elements here? Just this stuff. Is that going to make it work for what we got? Nope. So we got this stuff and this stuff. So what does that mean? Our star and our solar system then, is it a first generation or maybe a second or third generation system? I'll give you a hint. Recycle. We're not, you know, we're not the, a freshie right from the beginning. We're actually, our solar system is a recycled system, meaning that it took a blown apart star, all it got and when this stuff inside a star supernova, the pressure is so intense, the supernova event can make the heaviest stuff. So you throw all that together, and then you create a solar system like this to do it. You start with a whole, like an area of gas and dust that has the primordial stuff, the hydrogen and helium, plus an exploded star, a supernova star that had the fusion products plus the heavy metal uh, material formed by the supernova. You mix that in together and somehow another supernova event or something that caused a perturbation to collapse the cloud and start causing it to rotate and pull left into a new solar system. So that happened about five billion years ago. Five billion years ago. Um, our solar system was, was formed. The age of the galaxy is about 13.7 billion years old, so there was plenty of time to get this recycling um, going on. 